Hey guys, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project and today I want to talk to you about ticks and I think after living in uh, Pine Bush, New York I could consider myself to have a little bit of knowledge about ticks and this year is an exceptionally bad year with ticks in Michigan although they've it's relatively unheard of they're spreading and we've had mild winters which is not killing off their hosts uh, little field mice so unfortunately the tick population is spreading and I want to talk to you today about how ticks get on you and how to avoid them and where actually they, they hide and hang out and how to avoid them and how to prevent them in your own home and your yard so Manny and I were walking along looking at strawberries and wild blueberries yesterday, actually, and I took one step into the grass and had three ticks on me right now. I literally stepped over, and this is just on the uh, perimeter around our house, um, literally stepped in and had three ticks on me right now. And then Melanie and I started walking along and looking, and it was mind-blowing how many ticks there are hanging along the edge of the road, all right, they love the tall grasses along the edges of the road and pathways and especially where deer walk. Now, this is the road here um, next to our home. I don't see any deer trails now, but we've had some heavy, heavy rain. Anyway, uh, just trust me that the deer walk here heavily. And uh, it's been raining all day, so it covers up their tracks. But I'll tell you, if I came out again tomorrow, there would be deer tracks all over here. And therefore, we are loaded with ticks. Now I'm going to show you how ticks work and how they get on you and how they hang out and wait for a meal to pass by. They don't jump. Ticks are not jumpers. And they don't, um, they don't fall on your head. They're not very fast. But let me show you something. If I can find them in the camera here. You see there. Right, here's a tick at rest. Let's see if I can get him in, in focus here without actually touching him or anything. There's a tick at rest. Okay. It's hard to get the camera to focus on what I'm looking at specifically because it's so tiny. Focus on my finger. Now there's the tick. You can see, I hope you can see very well, his legs are out. And he is, let me, come on, get in my finger. There we go. See, his legs are extended now. Let me try to get in here better. And he is trying to hitch a free ride on me. Look at him. Now he'll extend his legs and he'll try to hitch a free ride here. Now this tick here is stirred up. They don't move very fast. You see this guy here? He sees, he senses me. Now they don't move very fast, and he's trying to climb down and get to me. All right, and he's reaching out with his his feet. They're not very fast at all, but you see him reaching. He's going to try to reach out to me. And ticks, how they get on you is they're just going to literally hang out. Sorry, it's hard for me to focus because he's so tiny. And the camera is focusing on the grasses. Look at him reaching at me here. See? He's really trying to reach for me. And this is how a tick is going to get you. He's going to hang out in the grass and he's going to wait for a free ride. And there, he's not very fast. See, he's not really fast at all. Now he sees me sitting here, not far away from him. So he's going to try to climb down and walk towards me. And that's what he's doing right now. If I sit still too long, I'll have him on my crawling up my feet. They will very, very slowly creep around and get you. Now, Melanie and I the other day saw hundreds, just hundreds of ticks out here. I saw another one right here. Um, we've had heavy rains, so I think it's beating them down a little bit. And it's been really cold weather. So there uh there's not as many but here's one here just hanging out waiting for a feast right there see his i don't know if you can see his feet are extended 
He's just hanging out waiting for a free meal. If I get my, my finger too close, he'll grab onto me. Alright? And that's what they do. They're not very fast and they don't spend a lot of energy. But they have amazing ability to grip onto you. If, uh, if you're walking through the woods and pass by these grasses. And if you take your time and look around, you'll find thousands of them here in the grass. Now, one way to prevent the ticks is to keep the grass short. Keep it cut short. The ticks like the tall grasses so they can easily grip on your pant leg. Actually, the ticks are from nature, and they're creatures of the nature. And they're going to try to go up to the tallest tip of the tallest grass so that they can jump on a deer as a deer's passing by. And this is about the height of a deer's knees, I'd say. Some of, some of these plants reach up to a deer's belly. And it's very convenient for these ticks to just hitch a ride because the deer pass through here a lot. So, one, keep your grass short to prevent the ticks from having a way to get up on you. There's another one sitting on this right here. He, when I reach down, his legs all extend. They all spring right out into a starfish pattern, ready to grab anything that comes by. So he's, they watch you or sense, I don't know if they can smell you or sense you, but I'll tell you what, whatever you've last touched, if there's a tick infested area, they'll be there waiting for you tomorrow. It's, it's very, very creepy. But uh, when they sense you coming, their legs will kick right out like this, ready to reach. And it does not take but a slight brush against that plant, and they are on you right now. So it's hard for me to focus the camera on here, but there are ticks all through this area. Really, really thick. And like I said, Melanie and I were walking through, and there were just, just thousands. Another thing, besides keeping your grass short is gravel. The ticks love the grasses because that gives them a, an easy way to hitch a ride and get a free meal. So if you have any areas with borders of gravel, that'll help. Really short grass, that'll help. Mulch will help, but ticks like to overwinter under leaves and in your mulch. So there's a uh, pros and cons there. Also, guinea hens which is like a chicken, but sort of weird. Guinea hens will eat ticks up. They love ticks. And a lot of people in tick-infested areas keep guinea hens in order to keep the tick population down. Um, chickens will eat ticks. Chickens will eat anything that moves. And I found that having a chicken run around the outside of my garden kept the ticks, it gave me a tick-free zone in my garden um, all of the past years. So having the chickens free running around your garden keeps you safe. Um, if you want to have a chicken run around your, your yard, that'll help give you a barrier because the ticks are going to be attracted to the chickens and the chickens are going to eat the ticks. And it's a win-win situation for you. And that was a great thing in my experience. So uh, I'm a strong believer in having chickens for tick control. If you brush around ticks or you see ticks, just clear out of the area. Check your clothes inside and out. And I'm not joking. Melanie and I check each other. We will strip down after being outside and check each other from top to bottom, front to back for ticks. Check your clothes inside and out. Every piece of your clothing. It takes like to get into a warm, cozy, protected area before they bite, and some of them actually will take many hours to look for a proper place to bite. So, in my experience, I've often found that I had ticks on me for long after I had left the woods. So, um, if you find one, don't panic right away. And I use my Leatherman or pliers and pop them. They don't squish with your fingers very easy, so I keep my Leatherman out, and I just pop them as I see them. When you get home, take a shower um, with soapy water. 
Water does not kill ticks in itself. They don't drown that easily. But the soap, um, forgive me, I'm not a scientific expert on the soap, but it changes the way the water, it in, a, in a way sort of thins out the water and allows it to get in to the ticks breathing apparatus and drowns them. Whereas water itself has a cohesiveness and holds itself together and it's very elastic in a way and cannot get into the ticks breathing apparatus to kill it. So forgive me for not knowing the proper terms and words but that's essentially what happens. The soap thins the water so to say and kills the ticks. So taking a shower in warm soapy water and lathering up good is going to remove any ticks that may have gotten on you in the process. Now I'm walking along a heavily tick infested area in all safety and comfort. If you have to be in a tick infested area stay on gravel trails or the well beaten path and don't brush the grasses on the side. Try to avoid brushing the grass on the side of the path. That's where the ticks are going to be. You're not going to get any ticks on the gravel and on the, on the dirt pathways. They're in the grass waiting for a, to get a hitchhike a ride. So anyway, uh, just sharing our knowledge of ticks, especially since here in Michigan they're getting worse this year. Worse than ever before. There's so many reports of ticks that it's just, they, it was, growing up here, it was unheard of. And this year, literally every time you go out, you're going to have a tick on you. We check ourselves every single time we come into the house. Every single time we go outside, we check ourselves up and down and inside and out. And at the end of the day, check the inside of your clothes. And I can't stress this enough, I know I'm repeating myself, but you don't want to mess with the Lyme disease. That can destroy your life. So, hope you guys enjoy the summer weather and can avoid the ticks. You can get out there, you ha can have a good life with the outdoors, you just got to do it safely. There are tick repellents. I found that most of them don't work in my experience because they're just going to find a spot by chance if there's a spot that you didn't hit with a tick repellent they're gonna get on you um, and pretty much in my experience you have to bathe in this stuff in order to have every part of your body covered in tick repellent um, sure it helps to some extent they might not be attracted to you then they might jump on somebody else or might wait for a deer or an animal but the best way to be safe is to avoid them entirely, stay out of their domain and territory, and check yourself thoroughly when you're done in your time out in the outdoors. Alright guys, I hope this has been a helpful article. Uh, please do comment, like, subscribe, and share. By the way, check out our daily videos, Melanie and I, off-grid homesteading. Um, I have the do-it-yourself world, and Melanie has off-grid homesteading with Melanie. Check out our channels, and uh, follow us as we strive to become fully off-the-grid and fully self-sufficient on our homestead. Bye, guys.